Hey, speeder bike guys. I wanted to make a quick video here. Let's talk about gear ratios. All right, this is the stock 40 tooth. Comes with the rag joint. This is the one that comes with the kit. Right? I'm saying this is the new one, the Manic Mechanic Bike Parts. This one is the 36. It comes with the hub adapter. I bought this one. I went down uh, in teeth, and that brings the gear up. That's taller gear hub. Uh, I don't know. Hey, there, there's a bunch of videos on YouTube, you know what I'm saying? Everybody talking about gear ratios and calculations and all of that stuff. Me, I'm just no hillbilly. All I got a phone calculator, you know what I'm saying? And if I wanna if I wanna calculate the gear ratio, I'll go sit down on my laptop and figure all that stuff out. But me, I just how I know how it works, you know what I'm saying? Stock gear, right? Smaller gear. Smaller gear, taller. Bigger gear, lower. Right? The lower the gear, you know what I'm saying? The more torque you get, less speed. The taller the gear, the more speed you get, the less torque. Right? It's just like a NASCAR, you know what I'm saying? When they're racing in Bristol, right, they go with the you know the lowest the lowest gear they can find so they can get that pull coming out the corner run down that 750 foot straightaway, right? When they're running in California, right, or Indianapolis or somewhere, right, they want that big old tall gear so they can get that speed running down the straightaway down the back stretch so they can turn that puppy down into the corner, right, and they can still keep up their momentum, right? That, that's that's what made old Dale Sr. so good, you know, Dale Jarrett, right? His dad, Ned Jarrett, all them guys, they understood the value of gear ratios. Right now, the reason I went down in gear on this one, right? I just wanted to experiment a little bit. You see, and I was looking for some better gas mileage. You see, not necessarily more speed, but better gas mileage. What I was looking at, because I have yet to achieve that 120 miles to a gallon. They claim that these little motors are get. Me, I'm stuck somewhere between 60 and 70. Right. So I chose this gear, this taller gear, to see if I could bring up the gas mileage a little bit and. I've gotten it up a little bit, you know what I'm saying? I, yeah, I've only run a couple of tanks through so far, but yeah, I've, I've gotten it up a little bit. All right now, the stock one is a 40 toother. This one is a 36. Now, I'm thinking about buying another one of these gears from Manic Mechanic, the 44 tooth, because the optimal gear for these little bikes is 41 teeth. That's the one that balances between your torque and your speed. You know what I'm saying? But they don't make one yet. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm pretty sure. You know, they're, they're, we get, if, if us guys make enough requests, I'm pretty sure they'll probably make one. But we got to, you know, <clears throat> we got to start buying these things from these guys in order for them to make something for us, right? 41 tooth is probably the best for this little motor. But I'm thinking about buying the 44 tooth because I, I want my torque back. I want that easy pull, you know what I'm saying? Right, so I can get her going without, you know, a whole lot of pedaling and hassling, right, and, you know, going uphill and downhill a little bit. You know, I, I traveled a lot on my bike, but anyway, that's the difference. That's the difference here. Bigger the gear, right, the more torque you get. The smaller the gear, the more speed you get. You're sacrificing a little plus or minus up or down. The smaller gear, like I said before, you'll get better gas mileage out of it, a little bit more speed, right, but... That's about it. 